All right, guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here. And uh, I need to get down to the dock to get a little bit of this beautiful day before I head to a picking party. I'm going to a picking party tonight, so uh, let me get out today's today's roundup. So I guess this is the first one of these that I have done here in the in the new Collapse Chronicles. So instead of, you know, just reading entire articles, I'm just going to touch on a few and, and read a little bit and, uh, and make some comments and uh, you can take it from here. So uh, starting out on the mainstream media, they have some awful, awful news on the planet today. Well, of course, this is the third biggest story on the planet, the first biggest story on the planet. This is the only time it will be mentioned on Collapse Chronicles is, of course, the Brian Epstein tapes have been released and, and looking at the names. And, of course, uh, Bill Clinton and Donald Trump showing up on them. So I live down there and St. Croix, you know, for two winters. And all I know is this, you know, Donald Trump and Joe Biden both had houses on St. Croix. Bill Clinton did not have a house. It was common knowledge all over that island that Bill Clinton was over there at, at Jeffrey Epstein's island. It, it, it's common knowledge. Everybody knows that Bill Clinton uh, was hanging out over there on Epstein's island. But, uh, but I would specifically ask, I never heard anybody say that either Joe Biden or Donald Trump, they never saw him over there. But Bill Clinton, that dude, was over there all the time. But anyway, that's all that has nothing to do with Collapse Chronicles. I just, uh, that's my two cents worth. But I need to, it's the, the awful news of the day uh, from the Los Angeles Time. Damn it! A potent antibiotic has emerged in the battle against deadly drug resistant superbugs. Oh, Jesus. Uh, this, the, the newest one is called Zozu Rabel Pen Attacks Bacteria from a Novel Angle, Disrupting the Route, Not a Key Toxin, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> you know, every time Mother Nature comes up uh, with doing what Mother Nature is supposed to do is keep species numbers in balance so they don't go into overshoot. The one piece uh, uh, of good news that I've been uh, reporting over the years are these antibiotic resistant superbugs. And uh, now they've come up with this new one. And think of all of the millions of people who should never have been born. And good. God Almighty. Anyway, I don't even have the heart to read it. Uh, so that is what's going on in the uh, human overshoot. So that's as far. I was so depressed with, with that. That's as far as I made it. Uh, in the mainstream media, so I went over, you, you know, to uh, medium.com to uh, check in. I think I've, I've heard of this guy, uh, Eric Lee. The world's population may peak in your lifetime. What happens next? And so, you know, when they, when, when they, Next to the article, it tells you how long the article is, whether it's, you, you know, three minutes, five minutes, or 20 minutes, whatever. 163 minutes to read this article in medium.com. <laughs> 163 minutes. So I, my, my first comment uh, was, 
And that's you know I read that and I wrote a one hundred and sixty three minute read. How about summing it up in about a three second read? There are too damn many humans on this planet. Now, what am I going to do with the next one hundred and sixty two minutes of my life? But I decided to spend about five minutes. I mean, you should see this thing. It goes on and on and on. Three hours, this man is, that Eric Lee is suggesting that you're going to spend three hours uh, on, on his tome about overpopulation. Absolutely schizophrenic. I couldn't tell what the hell the dude was talking about. And then I reached this sentence. So admittedly, I wasn't reading it that closely. This is a direct quote from this article. <clears throat> quote, We must increase total fertility rates now. Elon Musk is right. Depopulation is a far greater threat than climate change or even our meta problem of overshoot. Hmm. And then, uh, then after overshoot, he puts in parentheses population, complexity, density, cognitive, civilizational, ecological overshoot. We need to think about banning birth control and not just abortions, or how to implement a truly rapid depopulation via birth off to avoid die off this century. They, they, and I'm thinking, what in the fuck? And I'm looking at this, I had to, I have no idea what that, that last sentence means. Uh, no clue what that last sentence means. So my, my second comment to Eric Lee's article was, I admit, guys, I was only scanning this tome, but either this dude is the single greatest satirist working today on Medium.com, in which case I am jealous, you know, because I am the world's greatest satirist working on Medium.com, and I, I have to get back to writing for Medium, or he is hands down, the single most clueless moron to stain these pages with this unadulterated horseshit, in which case I have nothing but pity for this idiot. So I honestly do not know, guys. Uh, obviously, I, I, after reading that, uh, like, 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 what in the fuck? And, and, and that was about three minutes into his 163 minute uh, going off on uh, overpopulation. Take your pick. World's greatest satirist or world's biggest clueless moron. Alright. Now this next one I didn't leave a comment, but I just lied. I do recommend it. This is from a woman named Joan Westenberg. Uh, do not know Joan, her uh, essay today, A Decade of Discontent is Coming 2024 to 2034 is the decade that reshapes society. So I'm just going to read, let's, uh, it starts off a little slow. So this is Joan's reading of the tea leaves. Uh, trying to decide how, how much of this I agree with. Uh, we're just going to read, uh, it's mostly about AI and where AI is going to be going over the next uh, 10 years. <clears throat> Unease is growing in every corner of the globe. It is a slowly simmering discontent, a product of myriad social economic and technological forces that have been at work often unseen over the past several years. It's a discontent 
growing in the shadows of our hyper-connected, digitally dominated world, where the glittering promises of globalization and technology have somehow failed to materialize for most of humanity, small conveniences and shiny tech upgrades have been used to pacify the masses while the world's elite grew wealthier, more powerful, and more hubristic. I like that word, hubristic. So anyway, I thought I thought that was a good read. I'll have to check some more, but I couldn't think of a comment to leave for that. And then I went, I have no idea how this uh, how 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 this uh, space cadet made it into my medium.com feed. This is from some. She's actually this cute little redhead, uh, calling herself Lady Lady Hershiera, Lady Hershiera, and I noticed. She has 300, is that 300 or oh, 847 people have applauded this article titled, Days Are Coming, Humans Will Tremble and See. Days Are Coming, Humans Will Tremble and See. And uh, she goes off into woo-woo land. I, I, I mean, like, what in the hell? Uh, my evil twin was talking about uh, this series of books called The Handbook for the New Paradigm, which obviously this, uh, this little flibberty gibbet is a big fan of and uh, has never read the fourth book. Uh, so anyway, you know, she's, she's basically into the, uh, the benign space aliens coming to save us. And I'm getting ready to say something on Collapse Chronicles, which I have never uttered and will probably regret saying, and I'm not going to go into it. Uh, but first we're going to quote her, and uh, this is one paragraph. This is the, uh, this is when... I shut it off. This is about halfway through it. Take it away, Lady Hera Shiera. There is a plan of awakening hmm, that has already been set in motion. Higher frequency extraterrestrials. Yes, higher frequency extraterrestrials want humans to start waking up and questioning the status quo. They, meaning the higher frequency extraterrestrials, want people to wonder with awe and curiosity about the unusual events happening around them. And it goes on from there. So, uh, I'm just going to say this, guys, and, and, and not go into it. This was my comment to Lady Hershey Era about her higher frequency extraterrestrials coming to save humanity and the planet. As someone who was, quote, abducted by space aliens for 22 years of my life, I can assure anyone wondering that the last thing, the last thing any higher frequency extraterrestrial wants to do is to help humans or this planet. If for some unexplainable reason they did want to save planet Earth, the first thing on their list of things to do would be to kill every human on it. And uh, so let's all hope that the, uh, the higher frequency 
space aliens come to save the planet by killing us all before we uh, get too deep into these uh, these super bug resistant antibiotics uh, did, did, just keeping more and more humans alive on the planet but, uh, speaking of long as humans are alive on the planet I am looking forward to joining some of my fellow humans at a picking party tonight so uh, I am off to that but first I'm gonna go enjoy this beautiful sunset on the dock to celebrate our new floor in Doomsday Trailer. Anything to add? Nope. Bye guys. Oops. I cannot see.